everybody, it's Christine, and this week I have some tips for you on making decisions. So if you're someone out there who struggles with choices, you get major FOMO, fear of missing out, because you think if you choose one thing, you're going to miss out on something else, or if you just really don't want to make a mistake and you don't want to make the wrong decision, then these tips are for you. And it's just we all struggle with decision making. I just got done facilitating a retreat and every retreat or every workshop that I do, there's always like 90% of the room that's struggling over a decision and they're in limbo about something. And a lot of it's because we have way too many options. We suffer from what I call cheesecake factory paralysis. If you've ever been to the Cheesecake Factory, you know that the menu is an encyclopedia of food. It has a spiral. There are 120 food options, not including cheesecake. And that's how life feels a lot of times. We have so many options, we just don't know which one to pick. Or we're so afraid of making a dreaded mistake that we just stay in paralysis by analysis. So the first tip I'm going to give you is just a little insight into the word decide and why you often feel like you're going to miss out on something if you decide something. So look at the root side that's in the word decide. Think of other words that have that in it. Homicide, genocide, suicide, really aren't uplifting words, are they? So that root side, it means to kill off. So we think if we decide something, we're missing out on some other option. You know, we're killing off some other option. And the truth is, we can't make a wrong decision. Just because you choose one thing doesn't mean you're killing off all other options for something else, and it doesn't mean you're going to miss out on something. So when you're faced with any kind of choice, you have to just choose. You can't know whether it's a right or a wrong choice until you choose and get feedback. You know, I don't know if I've made a choice that's most aligned until I choose it and then I see how it pans out. Either it feels really good and good things come from it, or I have to adjust and make another choice. So really hear me on this. You can't make the wrong decision. You can't make the wrong choice. And if that word decide really like triggers you, use the word choose instead. And no, you can always make another choice in response to any choice you made. So if you're still struggling, you're just like, yes, but, you know, there's not a better option. It's impossible for me to choose between two things because both have equal value. And you know what? Sometimes that's true. You know, the paradox of choice also includes that a lot of times two things do have equal value. You can make a pro-con list and it's a pretty even split. And there isn't a, quote, better choice. So there's only the choice you make. A good way you can get some guidance from your intuition is by doing one of my favorite exercises when I'm faced with a decision, which is I get blank pieces of paper, and let's say I'm deciding between two things. Well, then I get two blank sheets of paper, and I write down whatever choice one is on one sheet and whatever the other choice is on another sheet, and I put them on the floor. And I set an intention to get clarity, and I close my eyes, and I peek a little bit, to step on the first choice. And then I close my eyes again. And I imagine myself in this choice. What would I be feeling? What would it be like? What would I be experiencing? And I really feel myself making that choice and embodying that, and I see what my body does. I see if I get any feedback. Do I get knots in my stomach? Do I feel a sense of excitement? Do I feel calm? And I just take note of that, and I step back, center myself again, stand on the second sheet of paper, close my eyes, tune in, and get feedback. How does it feel to imagine that choice, to feel into that choice? You know, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? What am I experiencing? What is my body telling me? And every time I do this, I definitely get very, very clear feedback. So I offer that to you as a tip. Even if you're struggling between four or five choices, line them all up, stand on each one, and see what your body and your intuition tell you. But again, the point I want to reiterate is you can't make a wrong choice. The only way you can really hold yourself back is if you don't choose at all, because limbo is hell, and nothing happens in limbo. We have to take choices, we have to take action, make choices, and then get that feedback from the universe, and then we just make another choice. Every moment gives us another opportunity to choose. So don't worry about choosing right, just start choosing. Much love and many blessings. I'll see you next week.